All right, this is how to use the FFD modifier in 3ds Max and Blender. So go ahead and open up Blender and do a file new. All right, now in your scene, do a Shift A, create a new mesh, create a cube, Z to zoom extents. I'm using uh, 3ds Max controls and everything. So go ahead and hit your plus sign over here, right click and reset all to default values to uh, zero it out. All right, now you can shut that guy down and now what we want to do is add the FFT modifier which is the wrench icon add modifier lattice okay so clearly nothing's going on here but let's go ahead and subdivide this so go ahead and hit tab to enter edit mode do a control E subdivide it do another control E subdivide it again just for the heck of it and I'm gonna do it again okay so now we got a box that's subdivided so still not working what we need to do is create another object object to interact with this which is the FFD modifier you have to create it so do ahead and go ahead and do a shift a and uh, hit your lattice modifier once again zero everything out shut her down hit your scale tool bring it up a bit just something like that is good just for this lesson go ahead and uh, go over to the properties of or the object data and clearly there's no this isn't subdivided like the FFD modifier should be so hit the plus sign over on next to these or the arrow alright so we got that going now I'll go ahead and select that old object again go back to the wrench icon and we need to connect it with the lattice mod modifier by selecting here alright so let's go back to the FFD go to your front viewport uh, hit tab and then uh, marquee select and we now have the FFD modifier also known uh, as the lattice, the lattice object in Blender. So that's about it. Uh, I hope this helped you out. This is really hard for me to find. So have a good day, guys.